Peg, Peg from across the field. Here, come on. Try your hits, dang it. I can see you. I can literally see it. Wait, there's some guy filming me, isn't there? Ah, crap. Okay, time out for a second, please. Time out for a second. <laughs> Hello, my name is Carl, and I am a professional camper. Here, let me, let me get out of this thing. So people like to say that I'm camping. Yeah, I am, because this is the best way to win a Nerf war. I've only been nerfing for a few weeks, but I can clearly tell that this is the best strategy. And if you're wondering why I'm boxed in like this and still wearing a mask, it's just in case there's like that 0.01% supreme laser hit that goes right through. I don't want it to hit me in the face. I don't want to get damaged. It is really hard to breathe with this stupid thing on. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. But anyways, yeah, name's Carl. Carl the Clerk. I am a tactical guru when it comes to camping and I know the optimal strategy. So let's go over my loadout. Obviously, I'm using a long strike because it is the best blaster that you can use for a situation like this. And if you've noticed, I have two scopes. Yeah, I do. Two scopes means twice as much magnification. Everybody knows that. You're saying that's not true? I don't believe you. That's lies put out by the government to make sure that people don't understand that this is the best way to nerf. Also, I have this shield here just to deflect any darts that might pass underneath the, the visible cloak that I have here. And actually, I've been sitting out here for like 45 minutes, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. A lot of times, people don't even notice that I'm here. They just keep running back and forth, and they don't know who tagged them, which is the best possible way to play. Nobody knows that you're here. At the same time, though, it's like it does get kind of boring sitting out here for so long with nothing to do. So I brought a backpack full of activities, and I usually reference it while I'm playing, except for the fact that it's really tight and hard to get access to. It is full of magazines. We got lots of ammo here. Lots, lots and lots of ammo. Ah, there's more. It's buried in there somewhere. Oh, come on. Lots and lots of ammo. And the thing is, there, there's actually some times where I sit out here for so long that I get hungry, so I brought a pack of goldfish crackers out here. And this one's actually still sealed. Here. It's called Extra Cheesy Pizza Flavor. Huh. Tastes like crap. Another issue that I face when I'm down here is the fact that it gets really hot and cramped under this table. So sometimes I'll come out and take a breather. I'll still have my mask on because I don't want to risk getting shot. Even right now, there's still people out there that are playing because I yelled time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody heard me. So a lot of times I'm out here for so long that I just get bored. So I start taking notes and even sometimes I bring a light out here so that I can read and write so that I can maybe work on my homework or get some productive things done while I'm out here waiting for somebody to run by. Right now we're talking about trigonometry. I don't feel like working on that right now, so just ignore it. I mean, people sometimes do notice the generator that's off to the side usually when I do decide to bring the light out, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm here. I mean, some people think that it's just like, some people just don't understand why my generator is there, but it's, it's for this light. That's pretty much the only reason that it's there. At the same time though, it's super noisy and it usually calls all the attention to me, but it doesn't really matter. That's just why that's there. This over here is just an extra safety precaution. In case somebody shoots over here and their darts land over there, I can tactically rotate this to the side. And now look, I've got a dart deposit. In fact, there's a dart right here because my own shot ricocheted off of something that's over there and landed back in here, but it doesn't really matter. It is a dart deposit and I can get ammunition from that in case I happen to run out of ammo, which is Highly unlikely, but still a possibility nonetheless. So I do have a backup plan in case that happens. I can just reload the magazines that I have here. So I don't need to get up and leave this the safety of this hole to go and run around and actually try to find darts. That's the plebs way to play. I don't get hit. And if I do get hit, it's really awkward because it means that I was standing out in the open and have completely abandoned my dominant strategy for winning the game. I highly doubt there's anybody who's going to nail this way of playing better than I have, so I'm just going to say it now. If you're a better camper than me, stop it. Stop, just stop it. I, I, have the, I am the only camper on the field. There's, if, if you wanna start camping, I highly suggest you don't because you're gonna have to be facing me. And I am the professional when it comes to camping, all right? You you take that personally. I will come for you. 
except when I don't come for you because I this is the dominant strategy. I will literally just sit here and wait for you to come running by. But just pretend like I'm gonna be coming for you, all right? I really need to get out of here. Oh my gosh, it is so tight. <sighs> oh. Oh, that is much better. There is an unfortunate problem where I can't really see that well. I mean, my only visibility is through the scopes and through my mask, which I don't even know where it went. It's all the way over here now. So sometimes I accidentally shoot people that are on my same team. Traditionally, I would bring a zoom scope out so that I can zoom in and make sure that the people are there and that they're actually not on my team, but I forgot to do that today. I also forgot to bring my tape recorder because sometimes I come out here and it's just, it takes so long that I actually forget what I was talking about writing in the book. So I bring out the tape recorder and I listen in on what my last class was so I can get a refresh on what I'm supposed to be studying and do some work while I'm waiting for people to run by and get precariously sniped from the corner. But hey, that's basically all I got. I highly recommend that you do not start camping because you're gonna have some serious competition on the table. There's no way you're gonna be a better camper than I am. And that's basically all I have to say. Thanks for watching.